Hi everybody, Creative Katie here. Welcome to my art journal flip through. This is my 7x10 mixed media canvas. It's Canson mixed media. And let's just get started. Now, this one I started, I have May 2017. And I don't do all my art in my art journal. I work on index cards. I work on coasters and on mini canvases and big canvases and I have my quote journal as well so I just have a variety of substrates that I work on so everything isn't in here which is why it took forever for this to get completed. So we're just going to do a flip through and I'm going to you know talk about the color wheel a little bit to give you some ideas about focal points and backgrounds and, and what I do. Um, but you need to know that if pretty much everything that's in here, there is a video for it. And if you click on, if you go to my YouTube channel and you click on the playlist, Art Mixed Media Art Journal Tutorials, you should be able to scroll through and find one that you may want. So this one, the background is I put tissue paper down so you get some wonderful texture there with the tissue paper and you've got the teals and the greens down on the background and you've got these colors together so we were kind of blending into this and using complementary colors as well so this one we had, I repurposed a stencil and I used the wave part of the stencil for the shape and I just kind of pieced together. I saw an angel out of the stencil. So look at your stencils. This is modeling paste. Love the look of this. This one I was struggling. I wanted to use white space. So we've got collage work here. We have modeling paste. We have little bits of all sorts of things on here. Here I was drawing on a background. This is a very inagulous color scheme because I'm in here and I'm just staying. All my colors are here, five, you know, five next to each other. They're all there. And you know, when I look at this now, at the time I stopped because I wasn't happy with it but I think I need to come back and finish it. So don't be worried if you have some empty pages in your art journal. This one, we have Baby I'm Cold Outside. I just got out my embossing powders and I did some embossing with some stamps. And just having a fun page. Not, you know, having fun making a frosty looking background and just going from there. This one, if you can see, we have texture. And then I use the float technique to bring out the hearts. Those are, those are not collaged on. So I just did the background and went from there. Although there is collage papers underneath that are giving some more of that texture. This one, we have music paper underneath. I don't know if you can even see it. There you go, maybe a little bit modeling paste, application of paints, collage, all that good stuff. And we're definitely in this zone here. I love how this page turns out. Normally I do not do green in the background. I've learned to use greens with blues, but just having greens is very rare. So this had yellows and greens, and I love how the modeling paste over down here really showed because it didn't absorb the paint to the same way. And then when it came to picking the focal point, here's the colors in the background, and I went across and that's how I determined what kind of focal point I wanted. And then there's that little bit on the hummingbird there. Love how that turned out. This one, we've definitely got warm background colors going on and the silhouette. And there's some stamping, some stenciling. Homemade stamps. 
one of my favorite pages. I collage sentiments underneath. And I'm going to zoom in here. You can see the sentiments. They're basically repeating life is a circle. The end of one journey is the beginning of next. So that's in different fonts in the background. Then I applied the colors in the blues and the purples did the circles and then collaged on some circles with texture paste to put the sentiment on. So we have some things coming up and lots of circles. There's circle stencils in the background and the different colors. So keeping with the theme. very much the same colors color scheme here those purples in there getting we've got some of that green in the in the middle that ties in with this i was a hydrangea stamp that i bought and i used some die cuts i actually had cut a stencil i would have scrapbook paper with my silhouette and i had pieces of it that were just sitting there and i put that in and it takes the paint and you get that texture without texture paste. What an, another one of my favorites. Who are we kidding? They're all my favorites, right? This one weighed into wonder and I put light and fluffy modeling paste on here from the crafters workshop onto the background and I have my sand dollars and it was a sentiment that I cut that I found in a magazine. I've got interesting quotes and sentiments and that I cut when I go through magazines and I just keep them in a pile and every once in a while I go through them and pick one out and it comes in. This has music paper down below. This one, you know, I like it but it's a bit of a hot mess for me. The, the stenciling that I did here the colors go because we're across the color wheel but it isn't my my absolute favorite but I played with the stencils used them in a different way doing an art journal page using a magazine picture again I can't draw or I'm not comfortable with my drawing skills, I should say. So when I sometimes I use magazine pictures. Not every art journal page needs to be your own artwork. Sometimes you can use something. And definitely here, this girl in this dress, and you know, went with the sentiment, be a voice, not an echo. You know, she's got some spiky jewelry and, and different things and she's wearing a ball gown. It just kind of, you know, she's daring to be herself. So this one, I, I wanted to play with the warm colors with the with the teal. And it, it didn't quite work exactly how I wanted it. But, you know, with every art journal page, sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. And there are parts of this that I love. And that's what the art journal is all about. It's about that exploration. It's about that lessons. When I started, I used to write down on the other side what colors I used, um, what I liked about it and what I didn't like about it and I found that really useful to going back to and figuring out what works and why they work. This one a very simple page I used a insta background there was a gel print behind there that set the tone and just some stenciling again a quote from a mat magazine and just a stencil of a butterfly. Not every art journal page has to be complicated or complex or have every product that you have. Sometimes less is more. This one, put the modeling paste down. The colors, just when I mix these colors on this page, it just popped. And I used my Julie Nutting doll and I cut some petals and used them as wings 
but the gold with that coral and peachy color just just sings so well. And here I colorize the sentiment. This one started with a napkin, which is you can see over here, and that set the color scheme. When you collage papers down at the beginning and there's any color there, whether you're using scrapbook paper or collage papers, gel prints, napkins, sometimes that will give you your color scheme and then you can mix and match and use those colors and that will guide you because you know this works. That's why they're selling it. People that have art training have decided those colors work together. So you're just using that. So now I know this color combination works well. I can use this on something else without the napkin. This one was a flower collage. And again, you have the flowers are here and the background is across. So complementary colors. They're going to pop. There's lots of energy there. And then just to bring the pink over here, I, I just added a, a rectangle underneath. I've been spending a lot of time in the warm color family, so I dug up my purples and my blues and did a texture or colorful or pattern background, lots of stencils in the background, and then I stenciled on these fronds and put a butterfly. Very simple, but it stands out. This one, again, I went back to the warm zone. It got very, very dark. And so instead of doing the dancer in a silhouette, I made the dancer gold. And these lights, you know, they look like she's dancing amongst the lights on the stage or dancing amongst the, fair, the flowers. But when you look at it, we've got music paper underneath. We've got die cuts over here. There's just all sorts of interesting things. This is another one that was very quick, very simple, but I think very, very effective. And I'm mixing, you know, these two colors here, this deep violet and quinacridone magenta, on the background and you're getting these lovely colors and then stenciling with those same colors just to get it looks almost like wallpaper and then I stamped in gold with my script stamp and some black modeling paste. Now that black modeling paste from the crafters workshop and I absolutely love that stuff. It is so smooth and creamy. I colorize the sentiment gold to go with the script this one I you know again some of these I will now take and do on a canvas because it worked this one I went for the vintage look and I collaged on music paper so you get some lovely texture from the back and then I collaged these hearts on and somewhere in here I got paint on another page. And what I've got here is a baby wipe and I'm putting my Murphy's oil soap. But I'm able to very carefully get rid of it so you can because this was all that was gel medium and it was pretty much sealed with the gel medium another fun page 
love this circle putting a focal point kind of setting it off within a circle now this was a stencil but you can use your fine line bottle and make a circle so we have this is textured and layered and this is textured and the rest is very flat oh if you love texture you're going to love this one there's lots of texture here with collage papers going down, then modeling paste, and then collaging on top. This one is completely flat, but it looks like there's texture. It looks like some of these feathers are standing out, and the reason for that is because you've got darks and lights and you're shading and you're highlighting. Love this. And the last page, another feast of texture and pattern. It all came together so well. Sometimes these colors, these oranges and, and reds, just work so well, and sometimes they turn a different color. It's just a matter of the combinations that you use and the amounts. So I hope you enjoy this flip through. Again, go to my playlists, click on Art Journal Tutorials, and you will see these. You will, most of these, there is a video showing you how I achieved that page. So if there's something that you're interested in, do that. Subscribe to my channel, hit the gear, select the option to be notified of upcoming videos. You'll get an email that says, hey, Karen has a new video, check it out, here's what it looks like, here's something you're interested in, click on that, you can go to, it'll take you to right there. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Happy creating!